Hey, Matt 31, I had a question coming out of section 2.4, number 37, and we were asked to simplify this expression right here. Um, and the first thing I notice is the square root of negative 12. So let me go ahead and just off to the side here, simplify the square root of negative 12. So as soon as you see that negative under the radical, I go, okay, well, I can take the imaginary number out. And then it comes down to, can I simplify the square root of 12? And 12, you can break into four and three, and four is two squared. So where I'm going with this is this is i times the square root of two squared times three. And because we have a two with that exponent of two, it can come out, oops, excuse me, it can come out of that radical. So this becomes i times two times the square root of three. Oops, let me bubble this off to the side also. Um, and then usually we don't write i times two, we just write two i root three. So that's what the square root of 12 simplifies to, and that would get us to this step. So at this point, there's a couple of ways to look at this. Um, some folks might remember doing something like bunny ears, and if you want to distribute this division of 2, right, you can, you can do 2 divided by 2, which is 1, and then you can do 2i root 3 divided by 2, which is i root 3, so maybe you think of it that way. Or another way of looking at it is I could factor a 2 out of the numerator, and that would give me 1 plus i root 3, and I have a 2 here, and then the numerator 2 and the denominator 2 would cancel, and that would leave me with 1 plus i root 3. So I'm not sure which way you look at it. If you split up the numerators like this, or if you think of factoring out the 2 in the numerator and dividing it by the, or canceling it with that 2 in the denominator. But there's number 37. Thanks so much. Bye.